Hey, hello, this is Andrea, and I believe today is the 23rd of June, 2022. It's a Thursday, and it is overcast and rainy here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And the dog is laying on his bed. <laughs> so, let's see. What... What news have I today? Well, I did I did hear back from the insurance and my abdominal MRI is going to be covered. So that appointment is next Friday. And then I guess after that appointment sometime, the doctor will schedule my surgery. So, yeah, so the MRI is on the first. And... I will not be going to too many games this weekend, unfortunately. Uh, I don't feel like I can do all the walking around and stuff. I don't have the energy, so why spend the money? Um, I mean, I think they'll, I think they'll be fine without me. <laughs> I might watch some videos from it, but we'll see. I don't know if I mentioned this the other day or not, but Bob and I watched the movie called The Northman. The Northman? The Northman? I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. It's by the director. I can't think of what his first name is, but his last name is Eggers. And he, he did um, The Witch and The Lighthouse. So... I believe this is his third major film and um, it's the the it's absolutely beautiful the way it's done um, you know the videography and everything so um, it's a good story it's like a I would say it's like a fable or a I mean it's, it's loosely based on someone in history but you know there's other stuff involved and uh, it's got it's got interesting aspects of the Norse religion of what we know from that time and what I found interesting was the use of runes in the um, in the in the shots like they wouldn't show the rune but they'd have things in different shapes that were like the runes and um yeah it was interesting to me i still i'm still thinking about it so that's to me that's a that's the mark of a good story or a good movie is if you're still thinking about it you know uh, so if any of you have seen it let me know what you think i don't know how many stars i'd give it i'm so done with the star system you know it's like what does that mean anyway like i read books and then Usually there's like five stars involved. And when I rate stuff, I usually put five stars for stuff that I either loved so much, it's like one of my favorite things, or I think it's one of the best things ever written. So there's hardly any five stars that I give. And four stars means I liked it a lot and I would read it again. Three stars means I liked it. Two stars means I didn't like it. And one star means give me my life back. So hardly any books get a one star anymore because if I get to halfway or two thirds of a way through a book and it's, and I know it's going to be a one star, I just stop reading because, you know, I'm not, I, I only, you only have a limited time on this earth. Why use it for, a, for something that's not good? And believe me, as someone, <laughs> someone who's gotten a lot of advanced reading reader copies I've read some bad books so trust me on this one you don't you don't want to waste your time sometimes but anyway I digress I like saying that word I digress well I can't think of anything else to talk about <laughs> so I guess that's all I've got for you I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you soon bye